Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to open up a new project and empty scene. Let's set up our scene just to start visualizing some things. So let's see, this is a new one. We'll go, well, this monster scene or just monster maker. Sample scene is fine too. Um, inside of this scene, we are going to create a ground plane. So we'll just set this up real quick, just like this. Alrighty, we'll make a little cube. This will represent our monster, something like that. Uh, let's create a folder, start organizing our stuff here. I like to make a folder at the very top called underscore game. Put all this stuff in there. Alrighty, okay, so we'll make some materials. We'll make a ground. And we'll make a red. Generic monster. Now this is all just placeholder. Eventually we may have, you know, monsters of different colors or whatever, it's fine. Drag and drop. Red, all right. Drag and drop. All right, so we have our, um, oh, W, let's name that monster. And then we're gonna start customizing this monster uh, object. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new empty object and we'll call this monster. We want our monster to be at world zero and we want to put objects inside of it. I don't really like having, you know, all these mesh renders and colliders and I mean, maybe a collider, but I don't like having mesh renders and things on the root. We don't really need it. So what I'm going to do is I have this empty object called monster. It's at zero, zero, zero. Let's reposition our Clean. Now that's at zero, zero, zero. We'll rename that ground. Alrighty. Okay. We'll put that at zero, zero, zero. Okay. I want my monster. And underneath that, I want my monster graphics. I'm going to call this uh, uh, visuals. Okay. So we want our monster to be empty so that we can put this at the ground. And we actually want our monster to be standing on the ground. So. Ideally, if I select my monster, the position will be at the monster's feet. So for visuals here, but this is a lie. Uh, this is more than the visuals. So we're going to copy the collider component, paste it, right? on our collider on up there, and then we're going to remove. So now our visuals is just visuals of our collider. And that's actually a little low. So let's reposition this upwards. Center, I think that's going to be 0.5. This way we can actually turn off the visuals, but our monster is still functional, right? We we can still use this in the game. So our visuals do not break our code. Um, so that's why I like to separate that out. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we can begin our series.